Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that it's okay to accept what is outside of your control. What that looked like in my life was hmm, played out in all areas. Uh, played out in a relationship with friends, having uh, issues or disagreements about how things should be as opposed to what they were. Uh, played out in my family dynamics as well. Uh, my relatives. This is the right way it should be as opposed to how they believe the right way is. And it was all battles for control and power dynamic. Uh, played out in my marriage where I'm currently separated now. And I could see the recurrent theme of my life. I wanted so much to control the uncontrollable, which is the actions, ideas, and beliefs of others. When I begin to accept some of the things that I cannot change, I was relieved of those troubles. Now relief looks different no matter what aspect of life it is. Relief can be removal of sad people. Relief can be providing space for understanding. Relief can be, I don't know, we can make a list, if you will. But the more that I let go, and I use the word forgiveness a lot because that's part of acceptance is forgiveness. The more that I forgave and the more I let go, the more ease I feel. And it's in those moments. I mean, I, I experienced it to the day. I probably experienced for the rest of my life. But it's in those moments that I realize how much pressure I was putting on myself to control everything around me. There's no point in doing so. The more I let go, the more it came to me. The more peace, the more information, uh, more appreciation. And it kept myself grounded in difficult times. So I share this with you more so, uh, not to make it a heavy topic, but to simply remind you that there's nothing wrong with accepting what you cannot change. Part of the dynamics that came across for me that played a key role was being the man of the household. Being the man of the household, you must burden the weight. Now, nobody particularly told me that, but it was implied in many of my interactions growing up and even as a grown adult it was implied so i found myself taking on the load of many aspects and this is not just marriage this is our friendships as well it wasn't just about solving my own problems i was a man's man if i solved everyone's problems around me so then they didn't have problems that's control. It served me until it didn't. And then I got to an understanding of simply accept it. And it's not that that message wasn't always there. I simply didn't see the value in it. Now it's still something I work on today. That's fine. I've made peace with that as well. But it's more so the understanding of reminding myself that I've never regretted accepting things as they are. Not once. Anytime I have gotten to that point of acceptance of, oh, okay, this is what it is, then I no longer worried about it as much. If in me, I cleared that space that was occupied in my mind of clutter. And it was free. 
<laughs> it's still frame. I had a clear space in my mind this morning and it was like, that's it the whole time. Let it go. Simply let it go. Now I, uh, I laugh because I genuinely hope that in sharing this with you, you find something in your life or something along your journey that you can afford to let go. It could be a thing, it could be a person, it could be a situation. Uh, for me, in certain aspects, it was jobs. And I'll be honest with you, that was one of the easiest things to accept. As interesting as that is, and I didn't realize it till now, but yeah. It's easy to do it with corporate entities, but I struggle with personal relationships. Even with strangers at times. But that's all right. It's okay to let go, y'all. And in doing so, you provide even more peace than you'd even imagine. I think I'm going to leave it at there for now. Thank you for listening. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.